Mayanginis gea zha zha gatok in dis nakaz, ma kwa ndu tam neongashing in du nji. My English name is Rihanna Seymour Huri and I come from the Anishinaabeg Nation of Treaty 3. Yeah, RELAW stands for Revitalizing Indigenous Law for Land, Air and Water. And it was created in 2016 after decades of working with Indigenous nations on standing up their law and supporting their strategies in articulating their worldview and to protect their territories according to their own ways of life and customs and Indigenous knowledge. When the first Europeans arrived here, certainly we were illiterate. We could not read that stuff. But so were they when they'd seen our totem poles. They had no idea what they were about. But uh, a totem pole in, in our culture was uh, basically teachings of natural law. Each of the crests on, on the totem pole, they had a, a really long story with them. I want to tell you about this totem pole and, and uh, other totem poles that, that we have in our communities. Uh, Normally what we have on the top of a totem pole and the bottom are the most important parts of it. The top is usually the crest of the sun or the moon. The bottom figures on a totem pole can be the wolf, the bear, as, as in this case, or a killer whale. And they're not the bottom because they're the bottom, but because the people of these clans are the ones that uphold natural law. Uh, RELA kind of has two components to it and one of the components is RELA projects. So we work with Indigenous nations who are, you know, working with their knowledge holders and with their stories uh, to articulate what those stories and what those knowledge holders are saying about a particular topic. We offer pro bono legal services to our partner nations who are doing this work and support them in strategizing and bridging between their laws and Canadian laws. And the other component of RELAW is the co-learning program because we're unable to work with every nation who reaches out to us. But what we can do is bring community members together who are doing this work to share back what we've been learning over the years, ways to hold dialogue and learning from other nations as well about how are they standing up their laws Since 1984-85, when this place was declared a tribal park, our people Tlaukwet, we have extended that, the use of that word tribal park because no one understands our language. In our language, we have our, our land, it's called our Hahusli. And it's, it does not mean that we own the land, but that we steward it. And what we're doing is taking care of it for, for our children. One quote that one of our elders has always shared with us is, the land is our university. From the plants, to the flowers, to the trees, to the sky, to the water. If you listen, they all have messages. What gives me hope is spending time with the, the land, especially the water. feel like really connected to the water and I've been told from our elders that we have to spend time with the land and the water because to deal with all of the, the impacts, the issues and the ongoing colonization and all of that we have to let it go. It is important for all of our people to share our knowledge, to share our wisdom, 
uh, the the mark of a good leader, uh, not just the families, communities, and nations, and throughout uh, our provinces and our regions and nationally, is those teachings carrying on to the next generation. So when we see that happening, then we know we've done our job. And so it's really important uh, for our younger generations to allow them that time to lead. And that's part of the success when we see them carrying out their responsibilities. So we have a, we call it reciprocity. So we don't believe that we just have rights. We also have responsibilities. And that's part of what we try to pass on to that next generation. I know um, the earth is one of our like biggest teachers and our mother earth. And um, I think that's one of the things that I feel like gives me hope is um, I want to I want to do work for um, our environment and um, the health and well-being of our people.